Hi Aries, this is your love reading. This is your love reading for September 2016. I am Trudy and this is Virtual Tarot and the Psychic Network. Now, I want to talk to you just for a second about the network. The network is you and that means that the network will become a group of readers and querents or those who would like a reading. And I'm very excited because this month, for the very first time, you can register as a reader on our website, myvirtualtarot.com. Go to register, and it is at the top left corner, as if this is the website, <laughs> but it's at the top left corner of the website. Um, register, you share out uh, the fact that you are going to become a reader, and then that will unlock the profile dashboard, and you will be able to upload your reader profile. Now, why do you want to do this? You're going to be able to read for donation only. You will be a, considered an amateur reader. And this is cool because what you will be able to do is to directly work with whomever comes to you to receive your spiritual gifts. Again, it's donation only. This is free. This is for subscribers. This is for the YouTube community so that you all can come together and share your gifts and also receive the gifts of others. Now, again, we also do private and personal readings. This is a general reading here that I'm about to do. And I am not reading um, for donation. Uh, there is a certain set amount of professional readers who are on the site. If you would like a professional reading, you can go and get that as well as you always have. Now, you will be able to leap from a donation-based reader to a professional reader. I mean, it is pretty obvious um, if you are a professional and, and at that point um, your status would, would change. But this is a great way to get started. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people uh, really enjoy sharing their gifts and um, uh, they, you know, with practice, comes perfection and so <laughs> sometimes we need to practice uh, using our gifts right so there you go check the website out uh, you can also get a reading you can also uh, purchase a natal chart a relationship chart which is a lot of fun and this for is the very first month that I will be offering uh, higher major arcana counsel on this reading so um, that's going to be subscription based and um, it's going to be a lot of fun too so I'll um, include that link once that's uh, up and I'll also post that it is up and so that said all the preamble let's get moving with your reading because that's all any of us really want to talk about right Aries so check your uh, all your uh, signs go to your natal chart um, and that's astrodance.com getting so excited uh, but anyway go to astrodance.com and really focus on your Venus and your moon okay because those are your relationship houses and they may not even be in Aries and so you're gonna want to watch those other readings in fact they probably won't be in Aries we've got all kinds of stardust inside of us um, my moon is in Pisces my Venus is in cancer I got water all over me and I'm a Gemini so there you go Aries here we go first card for you your love card is five of cups okay I always like this card uh, because it's such an easy one uh, to solve and as you can see there's this gentleman and he is he's crying uh, he's mourning uh, he's suffering and all of this suffering it's it's almost as if he's at he's he's at a grave side uh, looking down and bemoaning loss and bemoaning is maybe kind of a tough word because there is a grieving process involved in every uh, separation um, and sometimes that separation is due to a loved one passing away even and so there is a, a time of mourning that is necessary when we're separated from those that we love or our expectations of love or um, home even this can represent homesickness um, it can also represent just not 
paying attention with your whole heart to the entire buffet that's sitting in front of you. Part of it may be spoiled, but uh, the other half is beautiful and ready for you to partake of. So, some of this may be happening. There's some mourning, someone's leaving you, and you're very sad. You may have an emotional outburst even. Um, it's despair and easily, again, the reason I do like this card is this is a very easy one to turn around. You see he's got two cups behind him, which means there's still love and joy in his environment or her environment. And so if you've had a relationship break up or someone has left you or you're lonely, um, there are people around you, surrounding you, who want to reach out and hug, comfort, and console. This is a great card, actually. <laughs> it's a, such an easy one right away to, to um, sort through. So next card coming up for you is the Hanged Man. Now that's an interesting card to come up in the challenge position. Um, and it's a great card. The Hanged Man is the card of the student. It's hanging between two worlds, actually, and it's kind of that place where people go. It's like the bubble um, when they're not. Uh, it's like school, even. You know, the reason school comes up is because you're not in the real world here, um, be it, you know, the physical world or the spiritual world. You're sort of hanging in between those two worlds and observing. Um, there's some sacrifice and you always hear that with this card. You may have to sacrifice something in order to uh, attain something and also, you know, that is very indicative of uh, going back to school. Um, so for some of you, you may find yourself uh, challenged with retraining, re-educating, um, giving up a certain amount of lifestyle, which could include a relationship, could include someone who uh, you don't want to move away from. And it, you know, that you might have to sacrifice relationship uh, in order to retrain or um, attain higher education. That may be for some of you exactly what's occurring. You may have to even sacrifice um, for your goals in uh, the long term, the long run. So there may be some separation going on for some of our areas, some homesickness, um, but it's all for the best because of this card in the upright is a great card and there are certain sacrifices that we all have to make in order to go to uh, the next level to get to where we need to be to um, really fully bloom into a whole complete version of ourselves and that's really what I see here. This is again a fabulous card. It's the challenge but the challenge is met and uh, once again you're going to come out uh, with even more cups actually because we have five of cups and we have two behind you. Uh, my, my prediction and spirit is saying hey you're gonna add more cups to those two. Just turn around and, and, and see uh, who is standing next to you who wants to offer you a shoulder to cry on. Next card coming up for you. This is a really good reading. Oh, we've got the Knight of Wands. It is reversed. So gas in the tank. That's what I always say. This is the movement, uh, the energy, the charge. It's the rods, it's the wands, it's fire, it's career, it's um, showy a little bit. This is Leo, this is Aries, this is you. This is impulsivity. It can even be that because in reverse it's magnetized. So in the upright it would be, hey, there's this like showy impulsive move going on. Um, this could mean that it's like super showy and impulsive and not grounded whatsoever. And so unexpectedly that may come through for you. Now in love this could mean that there's this super charming uh, and this could be male or female, but this character who comes through unexpectedly in the middle of the month and, and um, it, you know, just lights up the whole room and makes you crazy. Uh, this, is, this is a younger person um, also going nowhere fast. That's what I'm hearing. This person is going nowhere fast and um, they just kind of charge through your life mid-month. 
Now, if this is you within relationship, it's just saying you're getting weary and you, you've you had that five show up at the beginning and so there's been some grieving going on, some mourning over a loss. It even could mean that part of your household has left or you've left part of your household behind um, to make this sacrifice. And uh, so, you know, mid-month you might feel like you're Aries, so you might feel like you don't want to do anything. You just, you know, it's not you though. This is not your temperament. It's just a moment in time where you're just feeling it as if you're out of steam. Um, so, and so if you're in relationship, that could be happening as well. Or you could also find yourself, for some of you, you could find yourself over um, compensating. And I'm hearing some of that too. Overcompensating and trying to act like, oh, everything's great, you know, and, and it's really not. Um, but then again, this is not, this is just something to get under control. It's like a horse gone wild a little bit or, or it can mean a horse doesn't want to leave the stable. So um, either one of those two things uh, you might feel as if you're experiencing. I'm really not hearing anything other than this month is really all about you going through transition and having to make this huge sacrifice in order to fully bloom, to fully uh, get out of the gate and go to where you need to be. Um, but when you get out of the gate, make sure you get out and you're under control. Like you want to leave the house every day in full control of your persona, your personality, how you um, approach the world and also in traffic and all of that I'm hearing. Um, don't overcompensate. Last card, great card. This is a really good Aries reading. I'm also hearing with that last card as this card came up. Um, don't overexert yourself, okay? You might be wearing yourself out because this comes up. It's the Ten of Wands. It's a good card. You're finishing up what it is that you've sacrificed for. You're getting the job done. You're going to get the job done. But you might have some back issues going on at the same time because often when I see this card, I interpret this card as someone who's got so many things going on that they're, they hurt their back. And, um, you know, it's interesting because our bodies become a metaphor for our minds. And so if you're taking on way too many um, responsibilities because you're trying to move away from that uh, five of cups and uh, turn things around so you're not homesick or you're not sad or you don't feel separation and lost and all of that, you might take on so many projects that you're slumped over. Um, good part here is that you actually do take it to the finish line. It's a lot of work, energy, and effort, but you actually get to the finish line and you actually um, accomplish your goals. And that sacrifice that you've made is going to pay off. So, but there are a lot of sacrifices going on for Aries. It's so interesting. Uh, this month, there's a lot of sacrifice happening. And why is Aries sacrificing themselves uh, like this? Well, I mean, there are times in our lives where we do have to hang between these two worlds. And, um, you know, that can mean you're, in, you're not in relationship. You're in between relationships. It can mean that you put it on hold. Or even if you're in relationship, uh, that takes a back seat to... Um, other goals that you have and other things that you're doing um, could mean also that for some of you who have children at home that you know you step back and and um, your challenge is to to let go right um, and that it is the time period where a lot of our areas are going to see their kids go off to school like kindergarten even like they have the boohoo breakfast and that's always there's a like yeah there you go it's I went through the boohoo breakfast and oh my gosh not easy, but we're always going through the boohoo breakfast in our life, right? And uh, how do we compensate? We get on with it. We get on with things. And, um, you know, we get out the door every morning and we do what has to be done, right, Aries? So this month, looking for love, and I always want to come back to that because there are a lot of people who are out there looking for love. Um, what you're doing is you're focused on yourself 
And I really think that is key. Um, Aries seems to be really focused on uh, their goals and what they want to accomplish. And that is the perfect solution. That is the secret sauce to meeting someone and to creating a life that feels like as if it is your own. And so I've got nothing to add to that, Aries. You're going to meet somebody, I feel, this month. However, if you are looking for love, but this person is going nowhere fast. This is not the month <laughs> for you, um, but it is coming and it is very, very impressive uh, this month for you. You are impressive, I should say. And so um, high compliment to you. I bow down to you, Aries. And I will read for you guys the month of October. Let's see if uh, that love card pops up for our folks who are looking for love. The rest of us, man, doing a great job. I love you guys. Please come back. Mwah.